How to create custom header in Shopify 2023 complete tutorial. Hello everyone. If you want to add some custom headers into your store, into, you know, your Shopify things, and you are actually, you know, into e-commerce, then you came to the right place. So let's begin and let's jump right into this. So first of all, guys, I am going to be showing you how you can do this using an application and not by codes because using codes is a little bit more, you know, difficult. It's a little bit more complex. So if you want to create a website without codes, you know, this is the perfect place for you. Now to start things off, you're going to come over to your Shopify over here. And the best way to deal with this is to obviously go ahead and log in to your Shopify account. Now, once you go into the logging in of your Shopify account, you have to make sure that your account is fully set it up and everything is good to go. And obviously, when it comes to setting up your account fully and properly, uh, you do have to keep in mind that the setting up guide includes the whole payment gateway and thing and the whole, you know, theme setting because that is not what I'm going to be telling you in this tutorial. So please do make sure to do that beforehand because that all is needed when it comes to creating custom headers because custom headers is obviously made on stores that are fully set it up and stores that are fully, you know, customized, styled and themed. Okay. So once you load into your Shopify store from there on out, uh, you're going to go into your main dashboard and from there on out, you're going to go into your main online store and in your online store, obviously we're going to start doing some editing. Okay. And for obviously the custom header thing, what you will be needing to do is you're going to need a, you could say blueprint in your brain on what type of design you want to go with, what type of header you want to create. Okay. And if you want to add navigations and all, all of that needs to be down to the bone when you're getting into this. Now, as we can see, we have loaded into our Shopify dashboard. So obviously from here, you're going to go over to your online store section and we're going to be customizing. So to customize things for yourself, obviously I'm going to show you two things. Okay. I'm going to show you how you're going to do this through code and I'm going to show you how you're going to do this without code. So to do this with code, once you're here, you're going to click on these three buttons and over here, it's going to tell you to edit code. So once you click on edit code, just follow me from here. Okay. Because a lot of people make a big fuss when it comes to, you know, coding. So that's why I'm here. You can just follow me and everything is going to be really easy. So you are going to need to have access as an administrator to your Shopify store. So you're going to make sure to have the upper plans for that. Now, once you've gotten that out of the way, you're going to open up this layout section. And once you open up this layout section, over here, you're going to be able to see a few things. Okay. So password liquid and theme liquid. So over here, you're going to need to add a, you could say a few things, uh, into your design, you know, so for that, you're going to click on add new layout and you're going to add a separate file called theme.gem.liquid. Okay. And what that will have, that code will have all your header details. Okay. And you can get the header details off of any, you know, Google website. So you could go with the uh, Shopify header code. Okay. And if you write Shopify header code, it's going to give you all those details and uh, you can just copy these nice codes off. Like, let's say I'm just going to call it this. Okay. Password liquid password dot theme. Okay. Or I'm going to call it that, or you can call it theme dot gen, which is preferably the better name. And once you do that and click on done, all you're going to need to do is just, you know, go ahead and uh, copy some code, paste it here, click on save. And that is obviously one of the important things when it comes to adding through code. But if you don't want to add it through code, which is most of you want, then for that, you're going to go ahead into apps. You're going to go in all recommended apps, which will take you to the Shopify app store. And we're going to open up the Shopify app store over here. And once you should open up the Shopify app store, there is an app called gem pages, landing page builder. Okay. And uh, obviously you're wondering why are we downloading a landing page builder? Trust me, it's going to make a lot of sense once I show you. Okay. So obviously we're going to go ahead and write gem and just click on enter and directly it should give you gem pages. Okay. So once you click on gem here, we can see we have gem pages, landing page builder. You're just going to open that up. And once you open that up, you're going to go ahead and click on install. Now, once you click on install, what's going to happen is it's going to take you back to your Shopify store. It's going to ask you to integrate the setup and, uh, you know, and do all the necessary things. You can also see a store demo from the app store if you want to. 
but uh, obviously I'm just going to take you through the whole setup. You know, you can see the store demo in your own time if you want to. That's totally upon you. But yeah, uh, once you've installed your gem pages onto your Shopify dashboard, from there on out, what you're going to want to do is you're going to install different jam pages for yourself. Okay. And uh, to install jam pages, what that is, is basically a type of a template that you can install for yourself. So yeah, this is gem pages. It's going to open this up for you. And uh, once we're into gem pages over here, we're going to start wanting to create our header. So here it says, what do you want to build? Okay. So there's a lot of things, landing pages, product pages, home pages, collection, blog post, etc. We're going to go with landing pages. Okay. And please bear with me. It's all going to make sense in a while. So you're going to click on create your page from here. Once you click on create your page, it's going to create your page and it's going to ask you what you're selling. Okay. That's the question that it mostly asks people. Now, if you've already added that detail in your Shopify, uh, then it shouldn't ask you any question like that. Uh, then it should, as you can see, automatically take you into the setup. Now I already added that information in my Shopify, so it knows what I'm here to sell. Then once you're over here, uh, what's going to happen is, uh, it's going to, you know, give you the whole basic editor setup. Now, if you've used any store editor like Elementor or GoDaddy's uh, store editor, then this should make quite a lot of sense to you. So what you're going to want to do from here is you're going to start editing your page. Okay. And uh, to start editing your page, first of all, it might give you a few templates. Okay. And uh, you can choose templates from here as well on the top left hand side. And uh, you know, there's a lot of successful templates, a lot of great conversion templates that you can choose from yourself. And uh, obviously, you can choose templates depending on the holiday season. Right now, as we can see, it's the month of October. So that means a lot of Halloween is going on. So you can obviously choose some Halloween templates if you want to. Uh, then moving on, you can go with any other add to cart different templates as well. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to teach you how you're going to do it from scratch. So to do it from scratch and to create a header from scratch, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come here. And first of all, you're going to take a row, which is going to be your header layout, right? And you can add that row in the top of your header, like right over here. And uh, what that will do is it will create a pretty good looking custom header for you. So just drag this here and this is your header and you can start dropping elements from this section back here. Okay. Add headings, add text blocks, text buttons, etc. But obviously this is more for the people who would like to get into, you could say more in-depth editing and in-depth analysis okay uh but obviously as you can see we have custom header templates here as well that you can add for yourself so let's say we want to add a you're just going to come here and we're going to write header okay you're just going to write header and it could give you different header templates for yourself you could you know add an announcement bar in your header if you want to add different uh, locations for the header that obviously depends on the type of customization and style you want to go with so to add this scheme into your header, what you are going to want to do is let's say I'm going to go with the, uh, let's go back here into templates. Let's go with this Halloween design. Okay. And I'm going to click on add to page. And once you do that, I'm going to click on keep all existing sections. And obviously it's going to load things up and it's going to add this custom header into my design. And once this custom header is added into my design, as you can see, you can start working with the custom headers over here. And from there on out, all you're going to need to do is you're going to save and publish this. And this will obviously publish this whole custom header that you have made into your design. So yeah, that is basically how you can create custom headers for yourself using gem pages. You can do this directly from Shopify's very own editor, which you can just access by clicking on customize, but I would much more prefer gem pages because it gives you a lot more you could say dignity and designing so obviously you're going to reload your shopify page and you're going to click on view and obviously once you come here the page would have been changed so yeah that's about it that is how you can create your very own custom header on shopify in the easiest most simplest way possible so that's pretty much about it for this video thank you for watching till the end and i'll see all of you next time goodbye